Haitians were supposed to be going to the polls today to elect a new president as well as lawmakers to both houses of the Haitian parliament. Instead, within hours of the polls opening, a serious challenge to the credibility of this entire democratic process. On the morning of the election, United Nations troops patrolled Port-au-Prince's eerily empty street. But soon after polls opened, voters started to complain of problems. Many could not vote because their names did not appear on polling center lists. When I come here, I don't see my name in their list. Why? Because they want to, to do what they, they want to do. Because you, you see, the government don't want to, to claim the election in AD. Do you think uh, it's an accident? It's not an accident. At other polling stations, police arrested voters who allegedly cast ballots more than once. Hours before the polls closed, 12 of the 18 candidates running for president staged a raucous news conference. They made a joint declaration accusing the government of outgoing President René Préval of rigging the election in favor of his anointed candidate, Jude Célestin. Citing massive fraud, the candidates called for the election to be annulled. Then they made a public appeal to their supporters to protest peacefully against this, quote, anti-democratic act. Among the protesting candidates, the flamboyant singer-turned-politician, better known by his stage name, Sweet Mickey. What do you mean? Are you expecting violence today? Well... You called for the people to come out in the streets. Well, we, no, we, didn't call, we call them to come out and defend their vote. They need to be able to vote. This is the one right that everyone has. I, I understand that the government has a custom, is accustomed to stealing the country's money, accustomed to stealing our dreams, but they cannot steal our vote. It didn't take long for crowds to start gathering. In another unexpected twist to this election, an hour before the polls even officially closed, one of the candidates, Michel Martelly, who's denounced the election, has just been endorsed, it appears, by singer Wycliffe Jean. The two singers led the way as a crowd of thousands took to the streets, denouncing the election and calling for the arrest of Haiti's outgoing president. A possibly crippling blow to the credibility of the election, taking place under the watchful eyes of Haitian police and UN peacekeeping troops. Haiti's top election officials are calling Sunday's election a success. They are defending the work of the thousands of people working for the commission, saying that there were problems reported at less than 4% of the 1,500 polling centers across the country. They say people who couldn't find their names on the voter rolls probably were illiterate. They also added that one person was killed on Sunday in southern Haiti as a result of election-related violence. Ivan Watson, CNN, Port-au-Prince.